August 8, 2013. What was the first day that I got to install Triple Play with the new uh, X1 uh, platform? So X1 DVR, and uh, they had the uh, terminal set up with it, so you can watch uh, watch it from any room. So they're setting it up uh, all new all new equipment, so all new jobs. Uh, get uh, all the new stuff, and they haven't really um, did very much testing on the equipment. So um, the, the DVR itself wasn't uh, difficult to put in because we put one in here um, before we went on vacation, and it went in pretty smoothly. Uh, the trick was to uh, uh, put it in the account uh, via TechNet. Which is just to, just to put, to put the equipment in the account via computer. And then once you plug it in, it starts to activate. And once it gets like to the third, there's like four activation spots. Once it's to the third activation spot, and then you uh, activate it. Uh, again, through TechNet, through the computer, uh, through my phone. Today, with the triple play, it, it was important that you hook up the uh, internet phone first, because this new this new box runs on uh, kind of it runs on the cloud, so it, it is a internet uh, modem type box, because all its information is pulled from from the internet. So the first thing is to make sure that the connection between it and the source where the cable comes into the house is good, reliable, and within specs. It's got to be uh, certain specs that it's uh, that it's uh, works best properly at. And uh, that night that we hooked up to the one here, I went through. I know we got a direct line. Uh, as soon as the house, as soon as the cable comes into the house, it splits, and one comes to our internet modem. And then it has to also split and go directly to the uh, cable box. So it's important when you set these up to make sure that now not only does the internet have priority, but the uh, cable box has priority. And um, so that wasn't that wasn't a problem. Getting getting the internet, uh, getting the phone working, uh, getting the DVR working. But the three terminals. This job had three uh, satellites boxes that feed off the main box and uh, neither one of them, all three of them did not uh, first of all didn't have the firmware update uh, the uh, DVR did, it had the correct uh, version the most current version uh, but when I checked uh, I remember seeing the notes coming across and there's a lot of notes uh, missed out the last couple of weeks and been kind of gone but uh, a lot of the tests and trials and tribulations. But uh, we have uh, like a live chat that goes on on our team, and you can see and kind of read between the lines of what's going on and how to pick up uh, bits and pieces. But uh, once once I updated all three of the boxes correctly with the firmware update. So they bought, they all three took the update, uh, but they still wouldn't uh, activate. Uh, see, what was strange is that when you put them in, they worked fine. You got all the channels, everything worked. But once you did the the uh, update activation, which is what you had to do to make them uh, to make where they could see the the main DVR recorder. So in order to get the system to work, you had to update them. And then once you update them, then they lost everything. Uh, the the channels would come up and show like the icon, like the uh, TV channel, whichever it may be, uh, BBC or Food Network. It showed their little uh, comedy channel, showed the little icon there. But there's no picture of sound. Uh, and then it had the note in the, in the corner saying. And I had to be subscribed to this certain uh, package, blah, 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 which was bogus. 
because you know everything was working. It's just whenever it did the update, for some reason it kicked uh, kicked out the. Uh, so, so I made a couple of calls, and you know, of course, this was the last job of the day, and I'd been there for almost five hours. So with all three of the boxes not working, and 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 of course, you know, the customer had the TV in the front room, uh, the big flat screen TV, and then decided to move it to the bedroom. So I couldn't really monitor the main box, so I just crossed my fingers that everything was good there and, and not an issue. But uh, he moved into uh, the bedroom, and then he was kind of, you know, <laughs> waiting, waiting for the box to come on. And, and finally, an hour later, I got it to work after making a call, after making three calls. So, uh, because the first call, they couldn't help me, and then they said, call this number, and call this number, and then they couldn't help me, so then they filled me over to the third person, which I don't even know where that went, but, uh, he was very persistent, and stepped through, and, and he could see that the boxes weren't fully, uh, uh, they, they had had the update, he could see that the, all the three boxes were updated properly, the current, uh, uh, software, uh, but the, the boxes weren't talking. There's uh, two types of technology wrapped in these boxes, uh, and they just weren't uh, talking to one another. Because uh, so, that, that uh, cable card that's in there, and I explained when I talked about cable card before, that cable card is what tells the box what channels you can see and what you can't see. So if that box and that cable card is not paired up, uh, in sync, then you're not going to get anything, and that's exactly what happened to all three boxes. So this wasn't, uh, it just wasn't it um, wasn't acknowledging that uh, that it had the cable rights to be to be viewing, but uh, that was quite an ordeal to say the least. So finally, about 7:30, it got uh, got done, and that's without having uh, lunch lunch break today. So first. First job was was a doozy. So I think anything after that, uh, I guess that's kind of nice because anything after that, I'll pretty much know what to do. You know, what was the uh, the sad part of it was that I had to. He had he made me uh, close the job. So I closed the job about six forty five. I went ahead and put down my time and, and, and documented uh, my paperwork, and I did work till seven thirty because uh, I was there till seven. But anyway, uh, there was, so what was it? oh, there was a commercial that was playing. Uh, that, was enough, uh, that was my day. <laughs> uh, and I seen, I seen the Red Baron, and that reminded me of a song, a uh, childhood song, uh, Snoopy versus the Red Baron. I was a big uh, Snoopy fan. I could, I could draw that dog house and the dog sleeping on there. Oh, yeah, it was a big Snoopy fan. <laughs> <clears throat> for Snoopy was, was cool. But uh, there was a song called The Red Baron. Uh, Snoopy vs. The Red Baron. And I looked it up and the Royal Guardsman uh, sung it. And it was released in 1966. And uh, I, I remember it uh, I remember it well. Um, it's if I play it, it might ring King King, ring, ring a bell for you too. But uh, uh, the Red Baron, as we know, was a, a German uh, World War One fighter pilot. Uh, Medal and honored, uh, was elite of his class in uh, many movies and books and, and um, literature has been written about him uh, because he was just you know, for the time. You know, we learned how to fly, and and he was an ace in flying and in combat. He had won uh, over eighty combat battles. So he was definitely highly uh, awarded uh, uh, person. He died in, God, what did they say? 25? No, it couldn't be. 25 seems old for a while. I think he was young. You know, 25 sounds about right. Because, uh, uh, but even he was in the army for like seven years, so. That was about right. So 18, 7, 25. So, uh, died, died young, which most people in the world war, they die young. 
but uh, yeah, uh, we also had a song about the Bismarck. I'll to bring it up there. But uh, this one's the uh, Red Baron by the Guardsman, 1966. Uh, they also had uh, notice there on there. They had uh, two video games. One came out in '83. Atari 2600. Uh, the only peanuts laid in one. He was going to do a Bugs Bunny one, but uh, he didn't get as good reviews as the uh, uh, the Red Baron one. Snoopy. Snoopy. Uh, and they had some warning label on there for uh, from the younger younger kids. Uh, but anyway, they re released it. Uh, re released uh, another video game in like 2007. Or the you know, Xbox or some Nintendo. Hmm. I'll pre read that. It doesn't matter. Because I didn't play either one of them. But, uh. Over now? I do. I'll just say it. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 